Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is New Year's Day and I'm gonna be doing an epic meal prep. I want to start the new year off healthy and so I will show you what I'm cooking today. Hi. Hey. Okay, so on the spread we have lean beef burgers, almond crusted chicken tenders, this whole chicken I got from Trader Joe's. Love Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna cook that as is. I'm doing some quinoa with cranberries and shredded carrots. And all these veggies. So I'm doing kale chips, some broccoli, zucchini, and brussels. So I'm gonna cook that as is on the stock. I actually did not know that Brussels sprouts grew like this. I know, that's bad. Then I'm gonna do some green juice for Jamie with these um, brown spotted bananas, celery, kale, ginger, and lemon. And I'm making coffee. And Jamie's making coffee. So this is our New Year meal prep for the week. And then we are gonna sit down and do some goal setting and planning for the year. Um, that's what we like to do on New Year's Day. We did not go out last night um, just because we're old and boring. But we like to be productive and plan and all that stuff. And sleep. And sleep, yes. So um, we wanted to feel good today and get some stuff done. Oh my God, I love, love Trader Joe's. We got this from Trader Joe's. Already seasoned, whole chicken. All I'm gonna do is put it in the pan and bake it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Things like a, I hate when plastic cuts me like a little paper cut. You're not Mr. Rock. No, I'm trying to be very gentle. Okay, so I'm gonna bake this just like that for the package says like 60 minutes. Then I'm going to cook my kale chips. So I already massaged some olive oil into the kale. So I'm just gonna spread it on the pan. Just like that. I don't know, I'll probably finish eating all of this kale today because, I don't know, kale chips just taste so good. I just eat it all straight off the pan and I end up eating the whole thing. So I'm just gonna put some salt, preheat my oven, and chop up these veggies. Okay, so season some veggies. Can't do everything at once, so I'm doing little by little. Did cut my zucchinis in little half rounds, my broth, and my kale chips. That's just olive oil and some sea salt. Put some garlic powder, salt, black pepper. Garlic powder, salt, black pepper. So I'm gonna keep my veggies simple because I'm putting a lot of effort into my proteins because I'm gonna do lean beef burgers and almond crusted chicken tent. Oh, it's going to this grocery store for me. Okay, so I need yeah. No, not that. That. This one? Yeah. Those things. If you have any questions, call me. Okay, so that's how I usually do it. I usually do like two to three proteins, two to three veggies, and probably just like one starch because I don't eat that much starch during the week. And I usually put like extra effort into like two dishes. So it's either I put extra effort into the proteins or the veg or the starch. And then I keep the rest of the things pretty simple. So because I'm putting my extra effort into the burgers and the chicken tenders, I'm gonna keep the veggie simple and the carbs simple. And baking stuff, if you're baking like a whole bunch of things, like a large quantity, it's just easier. So I like to bake most of my stuff. So I'm gonna stick the veggies in the oven at 350 degrees. It's going in. Veggies going in. Then the kale chips go in. Yay, they all fit. Okay, so had to make a pit stop because I was hungry. It's time for my meal too. I'm gonna have, I'll show you what I'm having just super quick because I'm cooking. I'm gonna have my Isogenics Isolin Pro chocolate shake. Putting a handful of spinach in there. Just gonna blend that, drink that real fast. Honestly, best shake ever. Best shake ever and I've tried a lot of shakes. Mm. I'm gonna prep this bat. I've never actually cooked the Brussels sprouts on the stock before. So the instruction says 
to wash it, which I did, take off any unsightly parts, then wrap it in cling wrap and heat in the microwave for five minutes. And then whisk maple syrup olive oil together. Place the stock on a roasting pan and pour the maple syrup mixture over. Season with salt and pepper and roast for 45 minutes. Simple enough. I think something is wrong. So I put this thing in the microwave for five minutes and then the microwave just shut off. And then the stove shut off too. And my chicken is in there and my veggies are in there. I think the breaker might have chipped. Okay, we're back online. The breaker tripped. So started back the microwave with the Brussels sprout back in there and my oven is back on. Now I'm going to get these loose Brussels sprouts on here. And oh, my timer is up for the veggies. Let's see. Ah, uh, they might need some more time. Toss them a little bit. See how they shrivel up? Kale chips shrivel up. So usually when I do it, I do like two bunches. Okay, I think these can come out now, actually. So I'm taking the kale chips out. It's hard to do this with one hand. Probably not the safest to do with one hand. Let me see if these are ready. The broccoli looks kind of ready. Let me juke the zucchini with the fork and see if they are ready. Zucchinis can probably stay in there a little bit longer. Made the olive oil and maple syrup mixture. I'm just gonna brush it on the Brussels sprouts here, the loose ones. Wait for the bat to finish microwaving. This mama jama Brussels sprout, this one. So big, it's like a head. Salt and pepper. Shift them around a little bit. And that will go in after the zucchini comes out. I wrapped it with cling wrap and it said to microwave it for five minutes. So that's what I did. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit. With that. And I use the same pan that the kale chips were in. I just transferred the kale chips to another container. Put in some quinoa. I have four pounds of beef hair and I'm gonna add some stuff in. God, I hate peeling garlic. I really hate peeling garlic. Those are my chicken tenders and they're going in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25-30 minutes. Husbando is making Z burgers and they look good. I'm gonna make this. Probably shouldn't, but gonna anyways. This is the lemon chicken from Trader Joe's. It came out really nice, it looks really good. Okay, now time to eat. So, finished cooking, finished portioning out our meals. I'll show you, our fridge is stocked. Everything in Tupperware. Some meals portioned out for the week. Did you freeze your green juices? Got some yogurts and stuff up there, egg whites. And some frozen green juices. 
Also made some blondies. I didn't have a square container, so I used a round container. Tastes just as good, yum. Okay guys, that was my meal prep. As you can see, I like to cook two different types of proteins, two different types of veggies, and maybe one or two different types of starches. That will last me for the week. And then I will do grocery shopping again on Saturday and cook again on Sunday. That took me around two to three hours, including cleanup time. The more you do it, the faster you get at it because then you'll know how long things take to cook and how you like to season your foods and kind of have a system where it works for you very efficiently. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, or leave me a comment below. Bye guys!